We're on scene of a one-story commercial building, greater alarm structure fire in downtown Los Angeles. We arrived on scene to find heavy smoke coming from the back of a commercial building. Firefighters located an outside fire and worked to quickly extinguish it. Despite their efforts, the fire had already extended into the adjacent 100 foot by 200 foot one-story commercial buildings. Firefighters forced entry into the 10,800 square foot building and initiated an interior fire attack. They continued to work their way into the building while visibility dropped, yet the seat of the fire remained out of reach. Truck companies on the roof of the building conducted vertical ventilation and had both fire and pressurized smoke emanating from the holes. It was determined that the fire was above the interior crews, likely on a mezzanine which was inaccessible to them. The deteriorating conditions created an untenable position and the incident commander, Assistant Chief Dean Zipperman, made the strategic decision to transition to a defensive operation. With all firefighters out of the building and off the roof, company officers conducted an accountability report to ensure all were safe and present while preparing for heavy defensive streams. Over the next 90 minutes, crews applied copious amounts of water from the ladder pipes and large diameter hand lines to drown out the blaze, but pockets of smoldering textiles and clothes remained out of reach due to the style of construction, and once the conditions improved enough, the firefighters returned to an offensive mode. An official knockdown was declared two hours and nine minutes into the incident. One firefighter was transported in fair condition with a heat-related illness, and our arson counterterrorism section responded and are actively investigating the cause of the fire following protocol for an incident of this size.